Hello Leo, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you are doing well and uh, if you are new here, Leo, my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? As usual, please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention, that's why they're timeless and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings that I've done for your sign. But uh, more than anything, Leo, do check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done for those specific signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates for you at this current moment of your life, sometimes that happens and it usually means that your messages are just probably coming stronger. From those placements, it all depends on your current life path or journey. And uh, Leo, last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment, I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel and uh, help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed. And for your kind donations, I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you very, very much. All right, Leo? All right, let's get started. Okay. All right, Leo, you've got uh, Hangman as the starting energy of your reading, or the heart of the matter, or the current energy that you're dealing, or we'll be dealing with soon. And the hangman is uh, Piscean energy, okay? And usually the hangman always speaks about, you know, being stagnant in a situation. Um, but, uh, you know, Leo, I think you are waiting on something or waiting for something to change or improve or maybe you're waiting for someone else to do something about something and it's just keeping you in this uh, kind of like a stalemate, uh, you know, energy. Not, not doing anything about anything. You're just waiting and hoping. This could be hanging on a false hope or on false desires. The energy that's crossing, it could be a challenge or a block, it's just a seven of swords. Leo, uh, I think you are dealing with an energy that is very deceiving. It's uh, might be some type of lying, cheating, manipulation. This is what's keeping you stuck waiting on something. You're waiting on something that is not going to happen. Probably someone has already sneaked out on you with something without you being aware about it. Okay? You're still hanging on to this false dream, false hope. I think it's time for you to just, you know, realize that maybe it's time to just start start something new, have a new beginning, and stop hanging, waiting on something that's not going to happen. Okay? I wish I could say, because I, I also get this energy sometimes with this card, that you are probably meant to walk away from a situation uh, without speaking a word, you know, keep things to yourself. It could be, but I doubt it. I really think that there's some something else, someone else, that is not being very... Uh, clear and transparent with their actions, okay? Crowning you in your conscious mind and you are aware of this and you're constantly thinking about it is the Nine of Cups. I kind of like this, Leo, in a way because, well, you are thinking a lot about yourself or you're meant to start thinking more about yourself, you know? Putting yourself first now, making yourself a priority. Mm -hmm. 
it's about raising your, your vibration um, it's also about your emotional fulfillment making yourself happy make sure making sure that whatever you do you do it for yourself and you make yourself happy okay maybe you have to see or you have to or you're starting to see that you can't stay hanging or waiting on something this is uh, some type of clarity coming to you or re realization about something and you figuring out or starting to see that you're the only one that can make yourself happy no matter what situations that you're dealing with and then you have to stop relying on someone else or hoping on something that might never happen okay Leo uh, self-confidence very important but yeah try to focus more on yourself it's time to make yourself a priority and whatever you do do it for yourself get, get unstuck and stop waiting you're gonna have to be very strong to to break free and maybe even accept something <laughs> strength leo energy by the way so in your subconscious mind okay you're not this is what you're not aware of or you should be and you should be paying more attention to what they're telling me you know is you're meant to step into your power but more than anything as i was saying you have to be strong to come into well to get the clarity about or the hard the harsh truth about something and to get get unstuck and start focusing on yourself okay this deceiving energy It really has played a number on you, some of you. Uh, stop waiting on something. You need strength to start moving on and leave something behind. The energy that's behind you, recent past, or where you're coming from, or you're leaving, or should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through this, the Nine of Pentacles. I think it's more than anything, it's the reason why you're going through this. I think some of you also in your recent past, just recently, you've seen that your your self value this is someone who's finally starting to see their own worth self-worth a sense of self-worth a higher sense of self-worth it's nine of pentacles nine of cups yeah it's starting to put yourself first leo and uh you know you feel or starting to figure out that you are capable of uh, becoming more independent taking care of yourself and that you don't need to be hanging on waiting for something okay it's time for you to trust yourself trust your intuition and to see what you're capable of leo on your own stop thinking about wasted time uh, this is a very youthful divine feminine energy doesn't matter what gender you are but and that doesn't matter how old you are your age is not important either you just meant to see yourself as this beautiful energy stop thinking that you are too old now that it's too late that you've wasted a lot of time on something waiting on something okay no, you're meant to see how capable you are of being on your own and how you can achieve some type of success or just pull through on your own and you know that very independent self-sufficient energy in front of you where you're headed to and what's coming towards you or where you're meant to go to is your king of swords that's air divine masculine energy it's about this clarity acceptance learning to deal with things in a very you know strong
straightforward, maybe calm way. But you're not meant to deal with any more BS in your life. Sorry about that. That's my dog. She's fine. She just has some breathing problems sometimes. And um, yeah, Leo, uh, you're meant to you're meant to see something for what it is. That's what it is. And you're going to have to deal with it the right way, the righteous way. That's what I hear. You're going to have to be very straightforward, very bold, very decisive, and you might have to even cut it out of your life. It's this trickery energy. That's why you need strength. Okay, I understand now. Some of you have, might have strong air. You don't have to, but you might have strong air in your charts. And you're going to use this part of you to finally cut yourself loose and stop waiting on something. You know it's time to do something for your own self. This is how you should see yourself or respond to a situation. It's the Three of Swords. You've been hurt. You've been lied to. You've been cheated. I can see that. And you are meant to heal this now. Okay? So you're meant to see yourself like this or respond to this. This is a representation of you in this reading. Okay? It's that pain, that hurt. But you're meant to heal this. You're meant to stop focusing on and to start, um, you know, set yourself free and start doing things for your own self. Make yourself a priority. Put yourself first. The energy that's surrounding you, influencing you, inspiring you is the Hierophant, Taurus energy. You are being supported, guided, protected. Divine wants you to continue having faith and trusting. There is this, um, the keys, the cross keys in the bottom, which is the same ones that the Vatican uses. And it's, you know, it's the same keys, well, St. Peter, the gates of heaven, but it's these keys to open doors to new beginnings. These are keys to new knowledge, to a way different or newer way of seeing things. This is ascending, growing, but you have to have faith and understand that you are being watched over. And there is this higher force, it's supporting you. And they want you to be very strong. I don't know if I said the Hierophant is Taurus energy, but you have to be very strong. The Hierophant energy, they need you to have a lot of faith in you, of course. We've got the Strength card also here. That's about being very strong and having faith, okay? In your hopes and fears, Five of Cups, you have to stop focusing on those three cups on the ground, which is those three swords, that pain, that um, whatever it is that you lost here, you have to stop dwelling on this. It's time for you to seize a new opportunity. It's right behind you. It's right around the corner for you. But you're not going to see it if you're still hanging on this it's very dark energy. Uh, you have to stop dwelling on this on the loss, on the negative side of things. Some of you are afraid of, you know, maybe coming to the conclusion that something, you've been waiting on something, falsely waiting on something. And uh, I get you. It's time for you to really see things for what they are and deal with them the right way 
and start healing and set yourself free and start focusing more on yourself make yourself a priority and stop maybe stop depending on others it could be or someone else i don't know or stop depending on something whatever that resonates for you you know but it's about putting yourself first making yourself a priority there you are it's that new beginning you're meant to have a new beginning that passionate beginning it's got that nice that wand in his hand it's it's that new beginning a fresh new start it could be even another opportunity for some of you but you have to stop waiting on something fall asleep waiting on something you're meant to allow yourself to walk down a new path make new discoveries a new journey okay they need you to have faith it's got that little red feather on the hat it always reminds me of, of saint jude you know just a patron of hope and faith and it doesn't matter if you're catholic or not you know it's it's just um whatever religion you practice there might be a patron patron that represents hope and faith and if not just you you know believe in yourself trust in yourself and have faith don't don't stop believing please you are being protected but you do have to understand that something has already expired here and you're probably not even aware of that at some point maybe i don't know but it's time to do things for yourself okay yeah there you are there's that ace of wands it's set wand new passion beginning another opportunity a new beginning okay really leo that's your other major arcana and the sun card talks about new beginnings another opportunity and a rebirth it's that baby you know it's our first start but also this is that card of um bringing things into clarity sorry i got a little something in my eye here um finally something coming into the light into to the light and seeing something for what it really is okay and then we got the queen of wands you're meant to believe in magic believe in yourself trust yourself don't you go angry bitter resentful don't hold on to grudges okay that black cat is not bad luck that's her cat that cat's name is mystery leo you're meant to embrace and love mystery okay let yourself be guided by whatever it is that you're meant to go towards too but you're not meant to stay stuck waiting on something you can stay there for the rest of your life and i don't think you want that okay all right lee let's get uh additional messages advice or warnings from this other deck just in case i'm missing something it's always uh, something i always like to do you'd be surprised at the things that come out and then we'll close your reading the spirit of the animals oracle deck okay one more to leo i'm sorry about that but i got a feel I usually shuffle it three times this deck, but uh, I can't spare. Okay, what other messages do you have for Leo regarding this reading or situation, please? There's something else that Leo needs to know, or you would like to say to Leo. What would it be? What other messages do you have for the please? Thank you. Anything else for you, please? That's it. 
you got the Ace of Cups, Leo, um, make yourself a priority. Remember that whatever you do, it fulfills you. Do it for yourself, okay? Everybody always wants a Ten of Cups, but it's always important to be first in this energy. Then once you do, you are in this energy. You put yourself in the, you know, you make yourself a priority, and then you start doing this inner work. Then we got the Ten of Cups, because that's nine plus one. 10 okay but yeah uh, exactly it's about thinking more about yourself putting yourself first and stop waiting on something or someone else okay let's see what we have here okay wow okay so we've got the ace the four the seven and then we've got minor I mean major arcanas which is Two, one, okay, so first we've got the Ace of Swords. Uh, Leo, I said you. Ha I said that you have to be true and loyal to yourself about something that you're dealing with. It's time for you to see the truth about something. You hanging, waiting on something that's probably not going to happen. You waiting on someone that has been doing something behind your back, and maybe you're not wanting to see this. You know, that sword, it's that sort of clarity and truth. You have to accept something and deal with it. Okay? You have to take the sword and, you know, you have to be true to yourself. You have to be clear with your communication, your thoughts, your desires. Okay? Four of Wands, stay in a high vibrational energy always at all times. Whatever you deal with, it's important that you stay in this nice, harmonious energy. Okay? Don't, uh, don't let anything try to break that. If you are, it's like, you see how they're behind these Four of Wands? It's like, if you are, if you stay in this high vibrational energy they're telling you that you will be somehow protected and everything will be fine so don't lower your vibration whenever you have to deal with something okay seven of pentacles it's yeah stop stop waiting on something it's not giving you the fruition okay you have invested a lot of time actually it's not even invested anymore i wouldn't like to call it wasted but um Leo, yes, you're meant to. It's time for you to grow your vines somewhere else. She has a lot of grapes in her vines. Not to, don't focus on the pentacles. That's your energy that you invest in the situation. Okay, same here. But these vines don't have any grapes. And, you know, I think uh, it's time to plant somewhere else. Okay. Hi, Priestess. This is you, Leo. You're meant to trust your intuition. Pisces energy, by the way, but it doesn't matter. You, some of you might have Pisces in your charge. But this is you. You're meant to trust yourself. You must believe in magic. Don't fear. And try to stay in a high vibrational energy at all costs, please. It's very important that you do so. And I can't stress this anymore. Uh, just listen to your intuition. Trust yourself. Listen to your higher voice, please. There's something that's trying to tell you something. You have to listen to it. It could be that sort of truth about you having to see something for what it is and understanding that it's time. Then we've got the Hierophant again. Okay. So we've got the High Priestess and the Hierophant, but the High Priestess is the energy that's surrounding you. And supporting you. They're telling you that you are protected. But you have to keep believing and have faith. And then guess what? I've got the sun card again. Leo. You're meant to have a new opportunity. Okay? And just now that I see it, she's Leo energy also. Okay? But you are meant to have a new beginning, a new opportunity. You're meant to... You're meant to have a fresh new start and have the clarity about something. Okay? All right, Lee, let's uh, close your reading with the uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. 
And remember that whatever message comes out of this deck, it doesn't have to be related or correlated with reading in any way, shape or form. Just take the message as additional advice that might help you at some point later down the road. Okay. Then I'm going to go off to bed because it's late. lines there that's you what other messages do you have for leo please regarding the shooting or situation if there's something else you need to know with this oracle deck what would it be thank you very much gotta keep getting this card a lot but if that's the one that's the message for a lot of you but most of these readings i think it's already four of them that have this card but okay here we go loon and it says intuitive and Leo, you got to listen to your intuition. That's the High Priestess. Okay? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your inner voice, please. Okay. So the Loon card says, Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. And recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Okay, Leo, you can do this. You can break free from this. Stop hanging on a false hope. Start investing in yourself. Just a new beginning for you, another opportunity. Okay, and uh, you have to see that you are capable of being independent and self-sufficient. You don't have to. You don't have to rely on someone else. I get kind of that energy for some of you also. I don't know what the title you're reading, but I'll figure out, okay? Leo, this is the best I can do for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button and the comment. I would surely, truly appreciate it very much. And Leo, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy. And stay very blessed. Goodbye.